Good morning, everyone. Our lesson for today is about illustrating rational algebraic expressions, quarter one, module three, week four. Our learning objectives for today are the following. As the learner of this module, you are expected to, number one, define rational algebraic expressions, identify rational algebraic expressions, and evaluate rational algebraic expressions. Okay, so first let us define what rational algebraic expression is. It is an expression that can be written in the form P over Q, where P and Q are polynomials and Q is not equal to zero. This is clear that P the numerator should be polynomial and Q as denominator should be polynomial also. And Q should not be equal to zero. Let us have first the following example. These examples you see on the screen are examples of rational algebraic expressions. If you can notice the numerators and the denominators are all polynomials. While on the second example that you can see on the screen, these are not, these are not the examples of rational algebraic expressions. Why? Because you can see some rational expressions, those, this mark, You can see some rational, I, you can see some negative exponents, some radical expressions, yeah, those negative exponents. If you can see those on the rational algebraic expression, they are considered not rational algebraic expression. So that is clear. Okay, our next topic is about determining the excluded values. So what are the steps in determining the excluded values? Um, what, what, is, what, what do we mean by um, excluded values? These are the values of the variable that will make the rational algebraic expressions undefined. So later on, as we proceed on our discussions, you will understand what I mean. So step number one for determining the excluded values, let the expression on the denominator be equal to zero. And then step number two, solve the equation to determine the values of the variable. So let's have example number one. Identify the value of x that will make six over x minus three undefined. So first step is to, what is our first step? Let the expression in the denominator be equals to zero. So our denominator here is x minus three. So let's write x minus three. And should be equal to zero. So that's our first step. Our second step is to solve the equation to determine the values of the variable. So let us solve x minus 3 equals to 0. It, or x minus 3 equals 0. So how are you going to solve that? Just have to Just have to transpose when you when you transpose negative three to the other side of the equation, it will become positive three. So this the value of x that will make or the value of x that will make six over x minus three undefined is equal to three. So now let us let us check if really x equals 3 will make 6 over x minus 3 undefined. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute 3 
on the variable x. So let us solve 6 over x minus 3 where x is equal to 3. So let us substitute um, x with 3. So 6 over, if x is 3, so this is 3 minus 3. So this means 6 over 3 minus 3 is 0. So now, as you can see, the, the expression 6 over x minus 3, when 3 is equal to 0, it will become undefined. So that, uh, that's what it means. Example number 2. Identify the value of x that will make 18n plus 1 all over n squared plus n minus 2 undefined. So again, our first step is to equate the denominator to 0. So let's, let us write the denominator n squared plus n minus 2 equals 0. To solve or to identify the value of, sorry, this should be correction. This, this should be n. For us to identify the values of n, we have to do factoring. So if you can remember our lesson last time about factoring or factoring this quadratic um, quadratic equation, or this expression with uh, with highest degree 2, or we're doing the factoring technique. So to factor that, let us think of any two integers that if we multiply, the, the product is negative 2, and it, if we add the two integer, the sum is positive 1. So maybe you're thinking of numbers positive 2 and negative 1. So those are two numbers. When we multiply them, 2 times negative 1, the answer is negative 2. When we add them, the answer is positive 1. So the factors of n squared plus n minus 2 is n plus 2 times quantity n minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. And to solve this equation, we're going to, to equate both factors by 0. So we're going to have two values for n. So let's, let's have n plus 2 equals 0, and n minus 1 equals 0. So the value for this should be n equals, when we transpose positive 2 to the other side of the equation, it will become from positive 2 to negative 2. And the other one is n equals, when we transpose negative 1 to the other side of the equation, it will become positive 1. So we have two values for n. We have n equals negative 2 and n equals positive 1. So now let's check if really negative 2 and positive 1 will make the value 18n plus 1 all over n squared plus n minus 2 undefined. Let's erase this. So let us first substitute when n is negative 2. Eighteen, let's substitute n as negative 2. Eighteen times negative 2 plus 1. Oh, sorry. We're using the denominator only. Let's, let's substitute negative 2 to the denominator because we're only checking if the denominator will be uh, equal to 0. When we substitute negative 2 to the denominator, 
So let us use n squared plus n minus 2. And if n is equal to negative 2, that will be negative 2 squared plus negative 2 minus 2. Okay. Let us solve first the exponent. So negative 2 squared is 4 minus 2 minus 2. And if we solve that for minus 2 is 2, minus 2, that will be equal to 0. So you see, if n is equal to negative 2, that will make 18n plus 1 over n squared plus n minus 2 undefined. Because the denominator will be equal to 0. How about if n is equal to 1? So if n is equal to 1, that will be plus n minus 1. So let's substitute n as 1. So we have 1 squared plus 1 minus 1. So we have 1. 1 squared is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 1. Sorry, that is um, n squared plus n minus 2. And this is 2 also. So this is 2. Yeah. 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2. And that is equal to 0. So both values, negative 2 and positive 1, a substitute for n, will make the ex this expression undefined. So that's how you do it. How That's how you identify the expected values for n that will make them, I the, the expected value of a variable that will make the expression, the rational expression, undefined. So let us now proceed on how we're going to evaluate rational algebraic expression. Of course, um, If there are values of uh, variables that will make the expression undefined, there are also values that will make the expression defined. So let us now um, let us let us now learn how you're going to evaluate rational algebraic expressions given the variable, given the value of value of the variable. So let us have first this example. Number one, evaluate the expression y squared minus 1 all over y raised to 3 minus 3 when y is equal to 2. Uh, let us first write the equation y squared minus 1 all over y raised to 3 minus 3. Now, let's substitute 2 to the variable y. Okay, let us substitute. Okay, those y will become 2 raised to 2 minus 1 over 2 raised to 3 minus 3. So let us evaluate first the exponent. So we have 2 raised to 2 that is 4 minus 1 over 2 raised to 3. So what is 2 raised to 3? That's 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, it's 8. 8 minus 3. Okay, let us solve first 
the numerator and then uh, the denominator. So 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3 over 8 minus 3 is 5. So the answer in example number 1, when you um, evaluate the expression y squared minus 1 all over y squared minus 3, when y is equal to 2, the answer will be 3 over 5. Okay, next, example number two. Evaluate the expression 5x squared plus 6x minus 11 when x is equal to 2. Uh, let us first write the equation, uh, the expression 5x squared plus 6x minus 11 over now let us substitute 2 to all the variable x on the expression. So we have 5 times 2 raised to 2. That's how we substitute x on the this one. Plus 6 times 2 minus 11 all over 1. Next. Uh, let us simplify the expression. Uh, let's first solve or let us first uh, do this exponent. So we have 5 exponent first. 5 times our uh, 2 raised to 2 is 4. Plus what is 6 times 2? We have 12 minus 11 all over 1. Let's simplify this one. 5 times 4, that is 20, plus 12, minus 11, all over 1. Okay, let us simplify this one. 20 plus 12, that is 32, minus 11, that is 21. So we have 21 over 1, or simply 21 divided by 1. Or 21 over 1 is 21. So the answer here is 21. Okay, that's how you evaluate rational algebraic expressions given the value of the variables. So I hope you learned on our lesson for today. Answer the provided activity on our um, home guide and on our module. Thank you.